<laughs> Hello. Ah, oh, sorry. Anyway, bye. Bye. Hello. Congratulations, oh, Danny, Kiki, and Christian. Oh, Christian, not on the top of the leaderboard. Oh, what's going on there, Christian? Hi, Wingen, how are you? Oh, shit, Daniel. <laughs> You're here to look and or kick ass. Shit, kick her ass, right, I see. You're here to kick, look, or ass. Wait, no, that's not right. That ain't right. Mariah, hi, how's it going? Hi, Amy. You slack today? Can't believe it. I think this is the first time that you're not on the top of the leaderboard. Absolutely not. even on the top. You're at the bottom of the leaderboard. Mm, mm, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. You're slipping. You're slipping. You're slipping. How's everyone doing today? I am cold. I don't know why I'm wearing a skirt and, like, a short sleeve top. And I just, I'm cold. Why? Why am I like this? Just ordered fabric for frog tails. <laughs> what are you making? What are you making? Oh my god, my eyesight is so bad. I uh, I ordered glasses last week, but they're gonna take like three to four weeks to get here. And in the meantime, just like I'm complaining every single day about how bad my eyesight is. I'm tempted to like go online to some sort of like cheap, one of those, you know, like Fermu or whatever it's called, some kind of cheap glasses place and get like a temporary pair to wear like before I get my nice pair back. I decided to put lenses in my purple pair, so I'm like, yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't see a freaking thing. Thanks, Rachel. Pink pantsuit, pink pants, that actually does, that kind of, that kind of works with you. I can see you in a pink pantsuit. I can totally see you in a pink pantsuit. Guess what? I got the vid check. Okay. Oh my gosh, Sarah. Oh my god. Have you only been here for less than a year? 11 months. Thank you so much, my love. Thank you. Oh, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, Sarah. You've done so many things. I don't know. I don't know what this is, but you know, I'm like, mm, mm, mm. okay. Put lenses in my swimming goggles like and look for change your life. So that's actually kind of smart. It's actually kind of smart. Hi Rachel. All right, so this is the fit check. So I'm wearing like I'm wearing like knee high socks and this skirt that I made ages ago. It's like got a nice water print kind of thing going on um, and a long sleeve square top. You know, and then you know cardigan because I'm cold. I'm cold, bitch. And then that's that's what I'm wearing today. Northern Lights? I think so. Yeah, it does appear to be that. It's sorry, it's the camera's a bit blown out now. It does appear to be that. It's like mountain tops and like, you know, there's a wolf and some birds and something. Yeah, so it's that. It's pretty much that. <laughs> it's pretty much that. So knee-high socks that goes to the Pinterest board. Straight to the naughty Pinterest boards. All right, here you go. I'm gonna have to rotate you a little bit on your bed like that. Good boy. All right, sorry. There's a dog right in the here. And he's in my way and I keep catching his tail with the goddamn chair. So I feel like a horrible mother, a horrible mother. Skirt curls, I really enjoy them too. Um, what a clothes flash that I'm looking. Don't look, don't joke around. I'm like, I'm sensitive right now. Anyway, I have this parcel. I don't know, I, I'm, I'm suspecting it's a book. I think it is a book. I think it is a book. I don't know, I don't know whose book it is. There's like two book givers. Do you mind? I'm not lifting you up here, you salty hoe. Looks like a dossier. Yeah, like this sort of like, Something Castalios Negris de Fontibs have might. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. I pronounced that you know really accurately. Present? I know. I didn't open it. Are you happy? I fucking didn't open it. I didn't open it. You fucking bastards. I was going to. I look. To be fair, I got this like. Maybe five minutes before stream. Five minutes before stream. Oh my god, look at that! Oh my god! Oh, it's so beautiful! Oh my god, it's so beautiful! Oh my god, oh, I love this so much! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! It's 
um, it's the Emily Ferris painting with thread. Um, stop it. Stop it. I'm pretty sure that, oh, I'm trying to think, I know that, I know that Sarah got me a book, but I don't remember whether it was this one or the cross stitch one. I don't remember, because I got two books for my birthday. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm the worst person ever. Um, my internet is sucky, mine too, mine too, but holy shit. I have a feeling that this one was Sarah and the other one was Emma. <laughs> I have a feeling, oh my god, I love this so much. She's like the boss of um, thread painting and that's something that I definitely want to get into one day. I've got the books, I just need to stop procrastinating, you know? And just, I got the books, I'm prepared, you know? I am prepared, now I just need to, you know, now I need to just not be crap, basically. Hang on, let me just... Mushrooms, how cute that is. Look at the bee! Look at the bee! I'm so excited! I'm so excited about the bee shit. The bee one is obviously the most exciting one. You know, because I'm because I'm into bees, right? I'm into bees. That's obviously very exciting for me. Um, I'm just kind of going to my, my thingy. Hang on, hang on. Because I know... Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> for fuck's sake, both of the gifts are anonymous. Both of the gifts are anonymous. I was just gonna like sneaky check to see. It says both of the gifts are anonymous. So, you know, thanks for anonymizing it. That's cause you're beautiful. Oh, you're very nice. Always be sewing. I love that. I love that. That was, it was from you, wasn't it, Sarah? It was from you. <laughs> I was trying to figure out, because I'm pretty sure that Em got me a book, and I know that you got me a book, so I'm just kind of like, mmm, mmm. I couldn't remember which one got me which, though. I'm pretty sure this one was you, right? Honestly, can't remember. Why would you anonymize it? I kill you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you got this one. I think. Oh god, now we need Em in here. The lady in a uh, snarky and modern embroidered cottage group I'm in, she does her painting of glass things. They're absolutely stunning. Oh my god. Yeah, one day, one day, I hope to embroider um, Hugo. Just, you know, one day. One day, I hope to embroider Hugo. It'll be, uh, it'll be amazing. It'll be amazing. How can we though? I'll I'll tell you how. I'll tell you how. I don't know I don't know what the question was. <laughs> uh see stream elements agrees this time. Isn't it pretty, Daddy? I know I brought something out on your birthday stream. I know you did too, and I'm pretty sure it was a book. So if this was you, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. This is for this ridiculously expensive and beautiful book. Oh my god. It's so nice. It's like like even the even the cover is like texturized. Look at this, look at this sparkle. Oh my god, I'm gonna love it forever. Gonna love it forever. Can't even remember what I got you. I uh, honestly, so many people have like friggin' anonymously gifted me things and then like either not told me or told me like afterwards to a degree that I'm like separated from the present and the person. That I'm just kind of like I need to I need to keep a list I need to like write this down somewhere I'm like this person got me this you know it's terrible it's terrible even the end papers are cute they're so beautiful it's just I love them <laughs> the views on the front with gold isn't it nice I just yeah I love it I love it so much do you have another thread painting book I think I got a sewing pattern yeah you got two you got me two sewing patterns my God. And I got another thread painting book from you. Like, you've given me way too much, lady. You've just, you've given me way too much. Like, Jesus Christ, that's a lot. That's a lot. That is a shit ton. Oh my god, I love this so much. Sorry, I'm just, <laughs> I'm like gushing over this. I'm just so excited. Anyway, anyway, I'm fine. I think the gift is for Getsu. That's not fair. <laughs> that's not fair. Hi Emily, how you doing? 
I keep getting you and Cap confused. I shouldn't because you have a VIP badge and Cap does not, but I because you have exactly the same length like, name and then they're both purple. You know, Danny has the light purple, you've got the dark purple with caps. So I'm just kinda like Ugh. What have you gotten besides Vox? Oh my god, I've gotten a lot. So I've gotten like two dog snacks. I've got this cutting mat over here. I've gotten that thread post thing from Jess. I've got, seriously, you guys gave me more gifts than like my friends like in real life and my family have got, like it's insane. It's insane. Am I purple now? It looks like exactly the same purple to me on my, on my, on my thing. It looks, even in front of me, it looks exactly the same purple. Some co gorgeous comfy shoes. No, some shoes that Rachel is going to have to return. Cause, I just, I checked Amazon, Crocs are actually really fucking expensive for how ugly they are. So you fucking return those, I'll front, I'll, I'll front the fucking, the shipping costs back, it's fine. I could go for some Tim Tams, what are you, we are your friends in real life. That's true actually. <laughs> um, I keep changing my badge too. That's, that's true, that is true, you do do that. Um, fuck, what else have I gotten? Um, I've gotten LEDs, I've gotten clips, I've gotten... <laughs> Books, patterns, like what else? What else? I've gotten a shit ton of things. Just off the top of my head, like 20, 20 freaking packets of Tim Tams. Um, lip balm from Kitty. Uh, I've gotten like face moisturizer. Just all these things, my god. We will get you the right ones. No, we will not get me the right ones. You will return those. You will keep the money and you will spend it towards something else, you know, something that you love. Like more snail mucin for your face. Um, pink now? Oh, now, now you're, now you're with Mariah. Now you, now I'm gonna be confused with Mariah. <laughs> you gotta be some other color. You know, be something original, like, I don't know. Um, what's an original color? Be like, um, or like a, like an orange, I don't know. <laughs> Firstly, we're responsible for a lack of Tim Tans in Australia. <laughs> Uh, me too, because you know I keep I keep getting them from uh, from presents. Yeah, snail cum. It's not snail cum. It's not snail cum. Alex, did you? Are you eating my Tim Tams? Are you seriously eating my Tim Tams? It's like we're fucking eleven o'clock in the morning. You fuck. Fucking, can we see you my? Jesus Christ. Hi, hi Chris, how's it going today? You didn't walk into anything, this is normal. Um, this is, you know, this is normal. Um, Rachel won't stop until you have crocs. It's not snail wheat, it's secretions. Alex, come back here, how did your meeting go? All right. What? No, I'm just gonna say. <sighs> Not the Tim Tams, anything with the Tim Tams. Why don't you want the Crocs? Hey, I, if it works on a count in this video, I don't want the Crocs because I won't wear them. It will be a big waste of Rachel's money that she could use on something else. Um, it's not snail cum, okay? It's secretions, Chris. Okay, secretions. You put it on your face. They secrete it, you put it on your face, you're beautiful, you know? Things are uglier than you don't have. I think they're awful. Um, I think they're awful. But yeah, they're also too large. They're too large and I don't, you know, and they're, you, it's a waste of money. It's a waste of money, my god. Willing to forego their usefulness. Oh, I have, I have like yard shoes already, it's fine. Crocs so big they can eat Debbie. It's true, they are like only about four sizes too big for me. <laughs> cum is a secretion. Is cum a secretion? Is it like is cum a secretion or is cum like an like a like a human body byproduct? You know, just I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. It's a cre like it's think of it more like as in boogers, you know, or or, you know, just something, a discharge? I don't know, no, don't, don't think of it as discharge. That's not any better. Just think of it as just the happy juices coming from the snail. I don't know, it's something. What if I don't want to think about it? 
<laughs> then you've come to the wrong place because right now we're going to have a, a dissertation on, you know, uh, snail secretions. Um, <laughs> we're talking about weird things here, a little bit, a little bit. Not googling that. Send me the crocs, I'll wear them every day. They're literally like a size 12. You got size 12 feet there. Our boogers just nose calm. No, because they don't, they don't like, I mean, maybe sad nose calm, you know? Like I'm currently, I'm currently doing a sad nose calm right now because I'm, I'm allergic. I'm allergic to everything in this room. Anyway, um, booger discharge in juice. Yeah, that's right. Happy juice is calm. Yeah, so it's like, it's sad juice then. Anyway. I have two pools in my new place and I have downstairs crooks and upstairs crooks. Please, no more. I can't, I can't. No more. No more with your goddamn crocs, my god. Sneezing is nose cum. Sneezing is, what if it's a dry sneeze, you know? If it's like a dry sneeze, then it's, you know, just kind of, uh, anyway, sorry. Sorry. I, we shouldn't be talking about this, okay? We've got Chris in the chat. We've got, you know, we've got some very sensitive people up in here. We got some very sensitive people up in here. All right, let me, uh, let me just look up. I'm trying to look up like a sailor collar pattern that I exist, that I already have, right? So do I have sailor or stop? Oh my God, Jesus, okay. Um, is it under sailor? It is under sailor. I was like, is it under sailor or nautical? It could be either, right? Uh, let's do a project, so what are we working on? We've been working on like a sailor dress, it's gonna be great. You're a 9, 10. <laughs> we have approximately about that size and I wear them around you. Disgusting people. What did I miss? Um, not much. We were just talking about snail jism. They're on the wrong Twitch channel, right? Right? You can have a try costume, please stop talking. Why are we talking about coming? We're like 10 minutes into this shit. Come on. Come on. Look, now Heavenly Gifted Today is following us and we're having a conversation about cum. I can't do this. Like, my incident won't let me click in your life now. Like, that happened ages ago, it's fine. Dude, that happened ages ago. The stairs are a neutral zone that can be traversed without crocs. Jesus Christ. All I think about is animals with the snail thing. Uh, welcome in, welcome in. Uh, there's a hundred year old at my work that wears exclusively Crocs. Is it, is it Rachel? Um, <laughs> do you fair when aren't we talking about something weird? We're always talking about something weird, okay? Don't, don't put that on me. Oh, I love this dress. I forgot about this collar. Sorry, I'm like, I'm focused at the moment. I am focused. Where the fuck is this one? Okay, okay, all right. I've got like a square collar there. That's gonna be that. Okay, I have exactly no patterns that do this. Oh wait, no, no, I do, I do. Simplicity 60027. Okay, let's try that, let's try that. Let's try that. Cross not prepared. For <laughs> take deep from excretions, you sickos. Man, my buttons depleted, can we gamble today? Let's do it. Hey Blue, how are you? When you talk about the snail serum. Yeah, I, I, I love that snail serum though. Like, y'all should try it. Clip editor always buffers for years on mobile. I'm so sorry. What was I saying? Simplicity 60. Um, is it in here? I don't think it's here. Wait, it is here. Okay. This has kind of like the collar that I'm looking for. Kind of. I'm thinking about how I'm going to do this. Um, this has, what, a button off the back? Ugh, I don't like how they've done the back collar. I want to do like a like a round neck on the, both the front and the back. Oh, the tails have it. Oh wow, oh wow. Someone's like all in on the tails. So we've got seven people in the pool right now. We've got seven people in the pool right now, approximately 5,700 points online. And stop betting on tails, I want to win. Well, we need Hottie in here because remember, it's whatever Hottie doesn't bet on. It's like whatever Hottie does a bet on is the one that's going to win, right? So we need Hottie in here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Speaking of speaking of Hotties, um, <laughs> someone yesterday came into my shop and they were like, "Do you stream?" And I, you know, I, I was all excited. I was kind of like, "Yes, I do." <laughs> you know, apparently they recognized me, which is kind of cool. They were just kind of like, "Oh yeah, I think, uh, I think." Uh, 
like the community that I'm in like raided you um, like a, like yesterday or something like that. I'm just like, oh. So she's in Meg's community. I just thought that was very exciting. I thought that was very exciting. I was like, yes, I'm calm and chic. <laughs> anyway. Um, do they look? I have no idea. I don't think they're even in my community, sadly enough. Um, <laughs> I have to go deliver a slice of cake, my friend who just had her first day of college. Nice! She's famous, we're not worthy. I'm not famous. I'm, it's not even my own, you know, my own follower or anything. It's like someone else's follower recognized me, you know? Hi, Heavenly, how are you today? I know you're new. I saw your notification pop up. <laughs> Uh, do you stream would still worry me. You mean Twitch is some more risk? I mean, well, why would it be? Why would it be someone else? Why would it? Why would it be somewhere else? I'm not on any other streaming services unless Alex has been filming me in my sleep. Um, <laughs> are you a crafter, Heavenly? This place makes me feel much better than I felt all day. Oh, I'm really, I'm really glad to hear that. Like that's that's really nice to hear. I um, I feel a little bit better when I stream as well. That being said, I am still going to the um, I'm still going to the doctor this afternoon for my crazy pills. So, you know, I don't feel that much better. <laughs> Just a little bit. You make junk journals. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. I sell, um, on one of my Etsy stores, I actually sell, um, stuff that people buy for junk journals, which is kind of cool. Um, you do mixed media stuff. That's awesome. I've, uh, I've seen junk journals and they're pretty friggin' fantastic. I've gotten a couple from, like, customers of mine, uh, like a few pages and things like that, collages. Very cool shit. Yeah, the catalogs, that one. <laughs> That's that's the stuff. That's the stuff that I sell for junk journals. What if there's a naughty doppelganger? I don't look like anyone. That's the that's the weird thing. I don't look like anyone, you know? I say this because the only people I've been compared to is like a 50-year-old comedian and like uh, like a like a male actor. What's his name again? Paul Dano. These are the only people I've ever been compared to. Like a friggin', you know, like an epileptic big bird and then like <laughs> Paul Dano, like these are these are my options here, you know. Nobody has ever come to me going like, excuse me, are you Britney Spears? I would I would prefer to much be compared to Britney Spears. Britney Spears would be a good comparison here. So would a comparison where I can use my goddamn remote to do a zoom, but I can't because this remote sucks. I don't know why. Uh, the page you have on your table would be a page in my journal, the vintage cover. Oh god, I hope I hope it would be a scan. I hope it would be a scan. People are people damaging like actual vintage stuff like freaks me out. Like I'm just <laughs> makes me cry. I'm like there's there's only a few of these in the world, and you know most people chuck them out. So I'm like I'm very precious about this. One of the reason why I sell like scans of the vintage catalogs because I've seen people cut them up for junk journals and it makes me cry because those things are like worth a lot of money and I've spent a lot of money on those damn catalogs so it's kind of like when I see them destroyed my heart it breaks my heart it breaks ah, ah. I'm glad you scanned <laughs> it would also prevent the stinky as well kind of kind of smelly over here Who's this 50, if, if she's comedian? No, 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 it's a 50, it's a 50 year old comedian. Like as in, as in she is 50 years old. Um, she is, I, ooh, I don't, mm, I'm trying to think. She's in Spy. She's in the movie Spy alongside Melissa McCarthy. She's like, you know, Melissa McCarthy is like, you know, partner in crime or whatever in the movie Spy. It's that one. That's the now you know all my secrets. These are the people I get compared to. Paul Dano and the Big Bird. That's that's all I get compared to. Every time I have a naughty doppelganger, I wish they tend to be flowing with more wholesome content. <laughs> if you have a naughty doppelganger, oh wow. Oh dear. Cause you're one of a kind. That's right. So uniquely odd looking. Um when we know it's a lot of money, we sell the journal higher. Very nice. That's a, that's a good tactic. That is a good tactic. That's a very good tactic. I feel like way too, Debbie. Save the papers and the patterns and the books. I know, but I'm like, I'm like, I'm a compulsive hoarder, so, you know. 
I'm a compulsive hoarder. Um, and I can't, I can't stop myself. I can't quite stop myself. How on earth did they expect me to do this? Looks like I'm gonna have to think of my own fucking pattern for this. It's funny that the back of this is all buttoned up the back. Like, how do you do a button-up dress, honestly? How do you button up a dress that has buttons down the back? You'd have to, you'd have to have someone do it for you. Like a partner or a roommate or something. You'd have to have someone do it for you. You're leaving out the lady from Black Mirror. Oh yeah, sometimes I get compared to her, although I think that's a really I think that's a really stupid comparison because I don't look like her. She's got like an extremely thin, pointy bird-like face. I think at that point, when people compare me to her, they think glasses, red hair. So I look like anyone who has glasses and red hair, essentially. Like that's that's what these people are thinking, you know? Because she's got like an extremely like pointy long face and my face is quite brown. <laughs> Not seeing anyone that looks demi is in my spy IMDB. It's the, it's the, it's the thing. Hang on, hang on. Do I get mad at when people throw things out? I can use me rummage the reference trash bin. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> I hope they don't, I hope they don't mind. Not less stupid than the other two ones, but you fix it. I do fixate on those, okay? Hang on, hang on, okay. Spy, hang on. Spy movie Melissa McCarthy. Hang on. I'll, I'll tell you what the actress is called. Um, oh yeah, that's it. Miranda Hart. That's it. Apparently I look like Miranda Hart. Yeah. Apparently I look like that. Which is great. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. I've always wanted to be compared to somebody who goes live on stage and jokes about how ugly she is. This is her jokes, not my jokes, you know? I've always wanted to be compared to someone like that. That's like, these are my goals in life. <laughs> ah, I get mad. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that one. Saving waste and making pretty things. I love that. Absolutely love that. I absolutely love that. I'm surprised that there's like such a big market for junk journals, you know? I would have thought that junk journals would be like bullet journaling and like you do it for yourself. But no, people buy them. People buy them apparently. I want to be compared to a Muppet from Sesame Street, right? Have you been compared to a dad? A dad? I mean, I've been compared to uh, like Paul Dado. Wait, what? No, wait, what's his name again? Not Dado. Wait. Dad... Dado. Paul Dado. Paul Dado, that's it. Hey, those princess dresses from everything in my stash. Can't believe that you knocked them out so quickly. Knocked them out so quickly. Yeah, tied to a sassy. Ariel? No, no, not not car not cartoon characters. I've not been compared to cartoon characters. It's usually like some redhead with glasses, or it's like those two actors. Those are the two actors. I'm like, mm, perfect. I love these doppelgangers. Cameron Dado. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think that's a thing. Kids' costumes are good because they're so small. Just don't handle the kids by the neck. My god. <laughs> My god. That, that frightened me like on a deep spiritual level. That really frightened me when I saw that. I was like, holy shit, Sarah. Handling children by the neck like that. My god. <laughs> I know it was a doll now, but I I didn't look at the head when you were doing that. I was just like, it was, it was disturbing. Literally a photo of Bob and of the doll. I didn't, I look, the photo of Bob I thought was a normal sized Barbie doll. So to see it like in like a large form, and I know, I know you've already posted photos of you buying the damn large creepy doll thing, but I, in my head I forgot, okay? Two of them misspelled sassy to daddy. <laughs> Oh, I see. Have you compared? Have you been compared to a sassy Ariel? Ah, okay, I get it. I get it. No, no Ariel. The writer from Stranger Things complained in an interview about how people always say that redheads look alike, but they have nothing else in common. That is such a true thing. That is such a true thing. My God. Oh, good. Oh, good. It was funny. I yeah. It's fucking hilarious. I have forgotten how to um, do patterns. It's it's been a long time since I've designed any patterns, right? It's been a very long time. So I'm kind of, I'm equal parts nervous and just kind of, mm, I'm, I'm really, really nervous about this. I'm just, I haven't, I haven't done pattern making in so long. And Kitty isn't here, you know, Kitty isn't here. I haven't done pattern making in so long. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, 
<laughs> All the new people coming in are like, what the fuck? Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, maybe if I work from a different pattern. Okay, well first I need to work out what I actually want this to look like. I think that's, that's part of my issue is that I don't actually know what I want this to look like. So, I'm gonna get my sketchbook out. My, um, my mother took me out to lunch yesterday. Uh, can you flip a coin first? That's a, that's, yeah, that's a good one. Have you checked out the, the 360 knife? I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that is. Coin flip, let's do it, coin flip. It's great for the cuts you're doing. Oh, I don't, I don't do these cuts. I don't, I don't do these cuts. I, um, I do, I do clothes pattern making, so, oh fuck, that's a horrible flip. There we are. So, what we've got is, this is a heads. It says yes, and yes is always heads. Dum, 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 dum. So everyone who bet tails loses, loses all their money, and that's five people. But five people gain money, so, you know, it's fine. It's fine, but yeah, I do I do pattern making mostly, which is a lot of curves, unfortunately. Tis a lot of curves, that. Oh, I really like this pattern. Sorry, I'm just. I'm looking I'm looking through all my old shit, and I'm just kind of like, oh, I just kind of want. Oh, anyway, there's so many like sewing pattern ideas from here. Whoa, like how have I fucking how many pages have I gone through? There's quite a few pages. Alright, okay. Let's have a look what my new design is gonna look like. Think you need to close it? Me? Me? I can fine, I'll close it. Hi Jess. Hi! Still beautiful work. Thank you. Is that the book with my favorite drawing in it? Uh, no, actually. The, that other book is somewhere else. Hang on, let me close off the prediction. Prediction. Manage prediction. It is heads. Complete. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's heads. Dun, 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 dun. Does this channel just fall apart without Kitty? Little bit, yes. Little bit, yeah. <laughs> Daniel says he's lurking, but I suspect he's falling asleep. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, I'm not... I'm not tired per se, but I'm currently suffering with allergies of some sort, so I'm kind of like... The back of my throat is really itchy. Anyway. <laughs> uh, oh, stepbrother, the back of my throat is really itchy. That's not what I mean. That's not what I mean. I mean, like, uh, I have, yeah, just allergies. Not oh, good. Not oh, great. Okay, let me have a look. So what I want to do is, I want to do like a boat neck kind of thing. Oh, do I want to do a boat neck or do I want to do a square neck? Am I doing a square neck? Boat neck? Square? No, I don't know. I wrote pigeon description for you. Thanks. Um, not that I would let a bird in my mouth. That would be disgusting. Um, all right. Let me have a look. So what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm looking for, and eh, I'm looking for. Oh right, my Pinterest, my Pinterest, my Pinterest. I was just trying to work out like, is it like scooped or is it like squared out or is it scooped or squared out? I don't know. Let me have a look. This. Well, okay, this one is uh, kind of. Mm, it's kind of scooped. Kind of, kind of scooped? The other stuff I have is, I actually organize my vintage pattern collection, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> I actually organized it. So, now I'll be able to not find it because I didn't put it in the, I, why didn't I put it in this section? Why didn't I put it in this section? It was, it's obviously a vintage, oh here we are. Okay, so it does actually look like it's a square neckline. It actually looks like it's a square neckline. That's very interesting. Very interesting. All right. He'll clean up first. No, disgusting. Absolutely gross. Um, I have three birdies. And where are the photos of these birdies, huh? Well, a friendly bird tried to feed you mouth to mouth. Disgusting. So gross. 
My Alexandrine would be my Taurus. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so gross. All right. No shade, but disgusting. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look. So I'm gonna have like a sailor collar like that. This is. It's kind of. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I really, I really kind of lost the, uh, the aptitude for fucking, I've really lost the aptitude for, uh, drawing. Now it's been, it's been so long, it's been so long, I can't draw anymore, I can't draw anymore, I just, I can't, mm -hmm. Anyway, anyway, okay. Either I do a scoop neck or I do like a square neck like that. Then I got like a weird kind of no, I don't like that. No, scoop neck is normal. I think scoop neck is nice. You appear thirsty. I'm always thirsty. You have a scaly lorikeen too, as well. Can you buy some? Can you buy some like moisturizer for the scaly thing? Can you buy some moisturizer for that one? I'm not, so, I'm not thirsty so much as I am allergic. <laughs> I'm more allergic than thirsty. Alright. This is... I think this is about the way that I want it to go. Like that. I'm gonna have like bishop sleeves. Like, ooh. Don't know how to draw bishop sleeves. I just discovered. Um, <laughs> bishop sleeves and it's gonna have a braid running across it like that and the bottom skirt is also gonna have a braid running across it god I hate putting friggin braids on skirts anyway it's a mutation of a lorikeet green and yellow interesting the scaly bird what dinosaurs should look like dinosaurs are apparently feathered which is kind of cool that's kind of cool interesting fact there interesting fact all right let me get tiktok um I've got that's going to fall. All right, I've got several. Oh, this is it's very dusty. It's been it's been that long. It's been that long since I've opened up like my patent compendium that the top is completely covered in dust. This is this is how far I've fallen, and I'm so out of practice that I'm now scared to to make patterns. You know. Um, also, this is a really old compendium. I should be going up to the top. Of the shelf for this. <laughs> anyway, wrap skirt, Balmain, waist seam, cottage core dress. Ooh, cottage core dress. No, I took that out. I took, I took most of these out actually. I need, to, I need to think of a different storage solution. Daddy does need a, a manf. A manf. Keep asking you to do drafting streams. I know, I just, you know. I heard you're making a sailor dress if you need to know any nautical terms. <laughs> you're a man. Oh, manf, got it. Got it, okay. What what kind of nautical term should I be aware of like when I'm sewing a nautical dress? What what kind of terms? What kind of terms should I know about? God, I'm so scared that that shelf is gonna like kick the bucket and then topple on top of all my goddamn just, I'm so scared, I'm so nervous. It's just every single time I take something from it, it creaks. I feel like I feel like a good shelf should not creak, you know? Like, I, I don't know much about shelves, but it just, it, it feels feels like to me that it should not creak. Especially like a floating shelf, you know? A floating shelf that creaks definitely scares me. What's something a sailor may say that could sound lewd but is actually totally nice and friendly? Booty, reinforce the shelf. I can't reinforce the shelf because the ah uh, oh, what are they called again the the thing the thing the uh, um, studs that's it the studs are in weird locations like yeah the studs aren't like you know symmetrically balanced or anything like that it's just uh, anyway anyway it's fine look if it if it collapses and breaks all of my sewing machines then you know, I'll kill myself. But mostly, mostly, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. I don't want to think about that, oh my god. I don't want to think about that shelf falling and breaking my goddamn, um, my goddamn sewing machines that are underneath that shelf. Anyway, 
I'm hoping that it'll fall firstly like on my on the little thread cabinet that I have under there and then the rest of it will topple forwards like off you know the mirror that I've got up there on that shelf it'll break and shatter and kill me um, and the books will fall to the ground part of them are vintage so they'll be irreparably damaged um, other than that I don't really have much there I've got a plant up there it will die um, it's fine, you know, it's fine. Um, trying to think of something they all seem not lewd to me, but you know, you can say change someone's oil might sound lewd if you say it right, so give me a minute. Laugh and touch her. What's a laugh? Aussie house is built like a modern art piece. Pretty much, yes. Pretty much. Let me have a look. Chevron dress, Queen's Gambit, say I have a sailor dress here? I have a sailor dress? Oh wait, no, that's the, that's the current sailor dress. Add one centimeter. Jesus Christ, Demi, what's with these notes? I had, I've added stupid notes to this, like, add, add one centimeter. What the fuck does that mean, add one centimeter? Why would I add one centimeter? Why would I add it? <laughs> what, would, what would make me add a centimeter to this? I don't understand, anyway. <laughs> why, the, why one centimeter? Why one centimeter? What do I... Okay, never mind. I'll work it out the next time I make it, I'm sure, you know. Anyway. Sounds like Demi notes, yes. <laughs> You're stressing me out about this shell. Me too! <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. It's just, you know... It's... It's... Yeah. It's about, like, it's about this thin, which isn't great for a floating shelf to begin with, and it's made out of hardwood, which means that it's extremely heavy, and it has books on it, which are also extremely heavy. Um, and it's got, like, um, like, what's it called again? It's got rebars, like, going through, like, Alex's drilled holes. So, th like, the amount that's actually holding on to those bars is very, very small. So I'm actually more worried about that. I'm soon gonna be replacing it with this which is softwood, this pine desk that I've got. I've got another piece of this downstairs. Um, so as soon as I like lacquer that up, I'll be replacing that shelf. <laughs> so this will be slightly thicker, which means that it'll have like more room for the rebar. However, it's going to be a softwood then, so I don't know, but it'll be lighter at least. So I, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. It'll be fine. Yeah, maybe some shells from spare scraps of wood. They all drip in the big gaps that grow larger. I hate them, but I can't afford to replace them. Oh no, really? Oh, that that blows. That absolutely blows. <laughs> is that your seam allowance? This is not my seam allowance. No, it's tis not. Tis not. Use this line for stretch. Yep, did that. Demi also works hard to stress as well. I'll get a better shell, please do it ASAP. Look, I have things to do, okay? I've got things to do. Alright? I've got things to do. Alright? Very thingy things. Alright, let me hang on. Shirt dress, shirt dress, bow front dress, don't know what that is. Plaid Christmas dress, I know what that is. Uh, gathered neck dress, I've made a few of those. Wait, gathered neck dress? Is that the same as the bow front dress? Wait, the bow front dress and the bow neck dress. What the fuck? Demi, you gotta think of names for these things. You fuck, what the hell? Think of names for these, you lunatic. What, <laughs> what are you even doing? The L top jacket dress. Oh my God, kill me. Jacket is a fabric type, why would you? Bow neck dress, holy tea. Reverse vent, what? Reverse vent, Halloween cat dress, I do know that one. Uh, chevron dress, flint culottes, empty. Okay, I have no patterns in here that would help me with this. <laughs> None. None. All right, okay. I guess I'm starting from scratch. This is gonna be very interesting. Um, also have things to do to fix my house, but right now I'm contemplating sending you a fucking new shelf. It's not about the new, sh it's about, it's about the effort to replace that shelf, okay? It's just, Look, okay, okay, I'll tell you my plans, okay? All right, they're very, they're very complicated plans, okay? So, I get a workshop, but we get a prediction that comes crashing down. You don't want it to, uh, you don't want that to happen because I have sewing machines. I have like four sewing machines underneath that shelf. So if that shelf comes down, all of them will break. Every single one of them. Okay, so the thing is, right? This table that I'm on right now, you guys have seen this table, right? Like the big, the big piece of pine wood that's resting on things, you know? Um, that thing is 
I have another one of these tabletops downstairs, right? But it's like a it's like an unfinished piece of wood, so I need to lacquer it, okay? Because you can't put an unfinished piece of wood on the shelf, right? So I need to lacquer it, okay? Um, and when I lacquer it, then I will replace this tabletop, which is covered in dents, with that wood, and then I will cut a strip off this table, and I will replace that shelf there, and I'll put shelves elsewhere, right? So, bear with me here. So, that means that I need to lacquer a piece of wood downstairs, and then cut this one, and then put holes in it, and then replace that, and then... So it's like, it's a whole effort. Move the sewing machine until you change the shelf. There's nowhere to put the sewing machine. It'll be fine, okay? It's not like it's precarious, or it just wobbles a little bit, okay? The, wob the wobbliness is fine. It's not, it's not like a true indicator that it's gonna fall apart or anything, okay? Don't stress about it. Load-bearing shelf. Yeah, it is a load-bearing shelf. <laughs> Maybe you could stack sewing machines up to shore the shelf. I mean, I I've been thinking about using like, What's it called again? One of those tension rods. I've been thinking about using them like on the corners to kind of prop the shelf up just a little bit, make it last a bit longer. But they're like $3 and you know, I can't be bothered going to that shop that sells tension rods. So yeah, this is fine. It's fine. It's fine. What is already broken? So that's true. That's true. Um, Maybe this, <laughs> this plan already sounds too complicated to happen. See what I mean? See what I mean? I told my husband I wanted shelves installed for my birthday. Look. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Okay. Alright, hang on. I'm just gonna... Did I brush my hair this morning? Jesus Christ, Demi. My hair is just continually a mess. It's like a bird's nest back here. What the fuck is happening? Anyway. Anyway. Did I even wash my hair with shampoo last night? No, I did. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Nimmin, nimmin, nimmin. Okay, alright, okay. Sorry, you know that I'm procrastinating right now. You know this. You guys are aware. You know that I'm procrastinating here. Um, alright. Let me... <sighs> I'm taking books off the shelf and it's creaking and this still frightens me. Alright, okay. Okay. Well, okay, this is fine. This is fine. Okay. Alright. I took some very heavy books off the shelf, which means that, you know, when I put them back on, it's gonna make a big creaking noise again. <laughs> it's like the heaviest books I own, they're like my pattern making books, right? Like it defeats the floatiness, you're gonna put tension rods and get rid of the floating supports and put proper ones. What do you mean floating supports? I don't have floating supports. They're, oh wait, no, hang on. No, yeah, no, that's what I mean. I meant, look, the tension rods were gonna be like a, like a temporary solution until I fix the shelf. So they were gonna they were gonna be like temporary, right? With some shelves, I've got two 12 by one inch boards, like three brackets for each one. The top shelf is higher on the wall. Put the shelf up in the bracket. They have good stand on these shelves. Yeah, but they're not floating shelves, are they? Hey! <laughs> I mean, by the time you just saw crazy ladies phone number from yesterday. Hey 404, how are you? This is this is the lady that I we don't talk about the like what's it called again, the name of the place that I work, just so you know. This is the lady who found me at my work yesterday and she was like, Do you stream? This is her, this is her <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, no, that, that lady, she was, um, yeah, she, there was a lady yesterday at work and she was kind of, she was worried that, you know, if, if she signed up for like a store car that we would like sell her phone number somewhere, which is totally what happens. Of course not, I would never. Beautiful. Excellent. There's illustrations on that book cover, can you hold that up closer? What, this one? This one? This is like, this is such an ugly book cover. <laughs> this is such a hideous book cover, but there it is. There it is. There it is! Hey! Hey, Cap! But yeah, this is, uh, I was just, I was just, um, saying I've got some, I've got some fun stories from yesterday from work. If you guys want to hear the fun stories, do you want to hear the fun stories? Do you want to hear the fun stories? Right, so sometimes I discuss this, like, on the Discord and, like, you know, the secret channel, you know, because you don't, you don't want to, like, have, like, a public record of you discussing weird customer things. You don't want that. So, uh, you're still traumatized with a crochet hook lady. So, yesterday, 
yesterday crochet hook lady someone came into the store and she tried out crochet hooks to take her invisalign uh, retainers out like her invisalign braces out she was like or just kind of like you know just sitting there like on the <laughs> in the crochet I'm like oh oh you know just with the crochet hooks you know, the whole, the whole staff was completely freaked out about it. I was just listening to this on like the, um, the earpiece and they were all like, Oh my God, she's doing this in public. Like she's just, yeah. So she, you know, don't worry. She eventually uh, bought one of them uh, that she tried out. So that was, that was nice, you know, <laughs> the rest of them. I don't think that, I don't think anyone sanitized them because I didn't know which one she picked up. But anyway, anyway. Just kind of, just kind of spray sanitizer over there. I mean, it still has traces of saliva, probably, but but it's sanitized saliva now. Um, <laughs> just got updated in the Tuna Club channel for a couple of days. But yeah, only one of them, Christian. Only one of them. Cool, cool. I know it. Not to buy my hooks right now. <laughs> Yeah, give give it a few months. It'll be fine. Give it a few months. I had another customer also yesterday. She, you know, probably old as the sun, called me up on the phone and was like, "Hello, where do I get an old sewing machine from?" You know, this is this is a very strange question for me because I'm just kind of like, "What do you mean by old? What do you mean by that?" And then to specify, you know, because this is totally not to specify. She said, "You know, you know, one of those sewing machines." Where you just th you thread it and it just works. Yeah, that 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 narrows it down. Okay, to to kind of get like a better idea, I was just kind of like, okay, okay. So like, Singer sewing machine, uh, Singers uh, have been sold for like I don't know, 150 years now. You you're gonna need to be like a bit more specific. She's like, yeah, one of those 150 year old ones. I was like, what? What are you? Why are you calling us for this? We don't like what? What? And I was just kind of, you know, in an effort to be helpful, I'm just kind of like, ah, oh, you get them from, you know, like, op shops and, you know, like, vintage markets. She's like, yeah, but which vintage markets? I was like, fucking, I'm, what do I look like, a Refidex? I don't fucking know. You know, like, old, you know, like, 20 year old, yeah. She just sold it one of yours. I was, I was tempted, but no, I, I had customers. I'm just kind of like, what the fuck? I'm just, I was like, do you have access to, to, the, to a computer, man? No. <laughs> Find a friend and get access to it then was pretty much the only suggestion I could give her. I mean, I, I can't, I feel like I can't offer much useful advice in that, in that particular instance, you know? Like I, I don't go to your local op shop. One can presume that you, like they might have something. In Australia, often they don't, you know? I feel like in America they have, um, in op shops, they've got like, you know, sewing machines all the time. I don't think I've ever seen a sewing machine in an op shop here. At least not like an old one. I've seen like a new one, you know, like like one that's like from five years ago or something like that. I've seen that in an op shop. Uh, very rarely, I know it was it only happened once, but I saw that. Um, other than that, old vintage machines, I haven't seen them in op shops ever. This lady called the fabric shop to ask for vintage sewing machines. Of course she doesn't know about Gumtree. Yeah, I know, I couldn't like, I had no, I had nothing to tell her. It was so terrible. Oh, not a, not a hop, no, it's a, it's an op shop, like an opportunity shop. It's what, it's what Australians call thrift shops, you know, thrift shops. We have a craft recycle center. So jealous, so jealous, so jealous. But yeah, I, um, it was wild. It was absolutely wild. The conversation that I had, my God, my goodness gravy. My goodness gravy, the uh, conversations that I had. And yeah, it was just, yep. <laughs> I have fun at work. This is like consignment shop or thrift store. I don't know what a consignment shop is. It's, it's, it's a secondhand store. I, I don't know. That's what, a, that's what an op shop is. It's just, it's a secondhand store. That's all I know. That's all I know. All right. Okay. I've got a sailor collar here. It's got to be like a different sailor collar method thingy. Like a standard, a high roll, blah, 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 blah. I got some sailor collars here. All right, so there's my sailor collar in general. 
It's got half an inch overlap on the shoulders and that's how I kind of make the, that's how I make the roll. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Drip, donated items that are sold for charity normally. Yeah, that thing. Consignment shop is like they sell your stuff. With, oh yeah, no, no, not that. Not that. I'm like, what the fuck is a consignment shop? What is that? Yeah, I'll sail it with an inset. Okay. Hang on, do you overlap it by? Oh, you overlap it, you don't. Oh, oh, I see, sorry. Just focus, so, okay. Overlap, wait, no, overlap the shoulder tips. So you pivot and then you overlap there. So what's the difference between that? You just overlap this whole thing. Um, trace wedge save shaped insert. Okay, got it, got it, got it. You overlap the whole thing by half an inch there, or you overlap the tips? Shit, I don't, I don't fucking know. Square line, continue line. Develop neckline from A to B. Shit, where's B? A to B. C to D. Extend C line at six inches past B. What? What? Sorry, I'm just, just what? I'm trying to work out how this is done. This is crazy. Oh, oh, hang on. Six inches like a tire. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. They do that in Japan a lot. Interesting. I didn't know that. So traditional sailor collars are blue and white unless you go past the 1800s. It's funny because I'm actually going to make this dress maroon. But um, I'm trying to figure out how to draft a sailor collar, not, not so much the um, collar design variations, not so much the, uh, what's it called, the colouring. The colouring interests me not, because, you know, it's sewing, you can make things whatever colour you want, right? You can make sailor collars, you can make it sailor collars whatever colour you want when you're a fashion designer. Where the fuck is the index? No index, really? Aha! Index. Okay. Collars, 78. What was that? I thought that was Hugo made a barking noise. Or it is a good choice to be a complete dork with the color stuff. Blue and white is pretty- I mean, I have a, I have a blue and white sailor dress, yeah. I have one. I have one! Here we are. Slight raw collars. Flat collars. Sailor collar, which has been cut with more or less raw. Okay. Here we are, collars with slight rolls. This method is illustrated with the Eaton collar. I think that's the top one. Slight roll. Um, the making of an Eaton collar is often the first stage of producing more elaborate collar styles. The overlap may vary a little bit, seldom less than two and a half centimeters or more than five uh, centimeters. The SP, fuck, what was SP? Side point? Side point? SP side point? Fuck. <laughs> Oh, S, S, P, S, P, S, P. What, is, what do they mention S, P? Set of the collar. The shit thing about this is that it's, it's asking me for like, it's asking me for information that it didn't tell me earlier. All right, that collar. S, P, I think it's like, What does SP stand for? Why isn't Kitty here? Hey, how's it going, Jeff? How are you? The chic carbon chick. It's the it's the chic Jeff. Everything with birds is blue and white. You want dishes blue and white, they're blue and white. Do you just you only have blue and white? Well, how are you gonna have the koala on your boat? Because it's not blue and white. It's not blue and white. How are you gonna have it there? Turn down collars, roll collars, bias collars. Cool, this doesn't fucking tell you. This only, this only like vaguely tells you like the idea of things, right? Okay, so it's two and a half centimeters at SP. I really wish I knew what SP was referring to. It's gonna be a glossary or something. Bodice measurements, sleeve measurements, trade block. This is gonna be like a terms. It's gotta be a terms area. Here we are, here we are. Shoulder. Oh, shoulder point. Okay, here we are. Down the middle of the shoulder from the neck 
point NP to the sh to point of the shoulder, shoulder point where the sleeve begins. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. Okay, overlap, self less than at the shoulder point. Okay, yeah, okay. So this one has like a half inch overlap. It has a half inch overlap. So I want to have about an inch overlap by the looks of it. Yeah, okay, I see. Potty mouth. Why am I potty mouth? I'm trying to, I'm trying to work this out, okay? I'm trying to work this out. More pattern is like, I need to get rid of this thing. I keep it because, you know, it's vintage, but it looks like crap, so. And it doesn't match with the, um, like, this is such a much nicer full color. Hang on. Is it blue and white the worst color for sale? I'll show you one day where orange everything. So you can see some people also have blue shirt just getting lost in the water. That's a good point, actually. That's a very good point. Holy crap, my eyesight is so bad. I can barely fucking see the screen in front of me. Oh my god. I've never, I feel like I've never complained this much. Oh friggin, here's the reference. Friggin. There's a whole reference thing here. Of course it doesn't mention SP. Seriously? Oh no, it does. It does. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's see. Would it do colors here? See, I don't think it actually mentions collars here. This is like an advanced cutting book, and I don't think they mention collars here. Yeah, this is like advanced draping and whatnot. I feel kind of disappointed because all of the shit that I've been making has been like very basic, bitch. This has all been very basic, bitch. Not very interesting at all. All right. I got, I'm getting distracted now because I'm just kind of like, oh, that looks really pretty. That looks so nice. Sorry. Anyway. Okay. Anyway. That's not useful. This one isn't useful. Life jackets are fluorescent orange or yellow. Mine also has strobe lights on it. Nice. It's like, so when you, when you go overboard, it's like a disco party, basically. Or well, blue camouflage for a bit as a navy uniform, never at sea, but yeah, cover is mostly navy blue, though. In the navy. Actually, how do you do a square collar? How do you do a square collar that sits on the shoulders that is an unbroken line? Hmm. Hmm. That's a good question, actually. That's an excellent question, Demi. How do you do that? Sorry. I'm just, because I'm thinking I don't want to have like a V neck in the back or anything like that. So I want to have like a square collar that goes all the way around that kind of like links all the way around, which means, ooh, how will I do that? If it's gotta be like straight over the shoulders, straight in front, straight in the back, kind of gotta, oh God, do I have to drape this? If I have to drape this, I swear to God, I'm like, oh, this will be an easy introduction back into pattern making. No, it won't. It will people fall over, what do you even got an ending <laughs> Well, no one sees you immediately, you almost certainly die anyways. Jesus Christ, people can immediately see you and you'll disappear anyways in the ocean and your head will float above the water. Oh, fuck. You gotta, you gotta wave your hands like this, you know? Kick your legs, wave your hands, ah, sort of thing. Attract the sharks, but also, you know, help. Help is on the way, dear. All right, 113. Collars. Collars. They actually do talk about the sailor collar. They actually do talk about the sailor collar. Here we are. Sailor collar. Place back bodice to front bodice. That's with Peter Pan collar. Draw and V neckline. Draw collar is shown. <laughs> this, this is not useful. Oh, the sides aren't even straight. The sides aren't even straight. They look straight in the diagram, but they're not. They are not. Shirt collar, convertible collar, this is... Okay, so the overlap is actually about an inch across here. So I'm gonna make a collar. This, this. Collar is V-neck in the front. And then kind of shaped over here. Ooh. Ah, shit. Okay, that means that I might need to have a seam in the collar. Because I don't think it's going to work otherwise. It's got to have a seam. It's got to have a seam. So, 
Maybe. Ooh, how am I gonna do this? It's silly because one of my favorite dresses from like, you know, my early 20s it was a, like a sailor dress and it had like a square collar and the square was like on the front and on the back. And I feel like, I feel like there was no gap in that collar. It was just like a, just a collar with no seams. So I'm just kind of like, hmm, hmm. Okay, I understand the concept. I understand the concept. I understand this conceptually. So if I combine these two. Sailors usually have daily roll calls. Oh, we're too short today, Jesus Christ. Uh, there's remarkably less opportunities for them than you would imagine. I feel, I feel like if I had my time at sea, I would definitely fall in way more than you would imagine. Reddit has been shoving in my face big ships getting tossed by time freak waves. That stuff is so scary. Yo, like that stuff is terrifying. Oh my god. Literally on board a boat right now. You're on a boat, motherfucker, don't you ever forget. Like that? Like that? Alright. If I overlap this by an inch... Crap, is that gonna be an inch or is it gonna be an inch in total? Oh shit, I didn't even think about that. Half an inch overlap. Maybe a half inch overlap turns into a full inch, because a full inch is a lot. Like a full inch is a lot. If it's like half an, half an inch on each side, then that would equal... No, that would still equal only a half inch taken out. So just continue on, so it would be like an inch. But yeah, how do you make a collar without a seam squared off from here to here? There's no way. There would have to be there would have to be a seam somewhere. Either the seam would have to be in the side, like on the shoulders, or it would have to be along the back. There would have to be a seam though. There would have to be a seam. There's no other way. Unless you like extend the Ah! You go inside then are you tie yourself to this ship? Just tie yourself to the ship like Odysseus when he was like approaching like the, the sirens, right? Like Odysseus. Okay, alright. How on earth? How on earth did it have like... I feel like surely I must be imagining. Surely I must be imagining that there wasn't a seam on that. There's, there would have to have been a seam on that. There would have had to be a seam. Good literally, literary reference. The highbrow stream now. Wait, did I do a literary? Did I do a literary reference? Did I? Get those brows up. I can't get those brows up. I will wrinkle if I get the brows up. <laughs> I will wrinkle if I get the brows up, so no, no brows going up. No brows going up. Tie yourself- Oh, the, the Odysseus one! That's it. That's it. The Odysseus thing. I actually- I, I read Odyssey um, in high school, and I really enjoyed it. I read Odyssey and Iliad, um, and they were very good. They were very good books. I recommend if you're into like some history reading sort of thing. Like that's- it's kind of- it's an interesting story, so. Where do you think it is? This is from reality TV. Look, I forgot that I once read, you know, like, I read books once. <laughs> Only once though, I never went back. Oh, I don't, I haven't read books in such a long time. I'd like to start again, but I'm afraid that I'm too addicted to social media to start again, you know? It's too late for me. Tie yourself up, tie things to you. Call the tether, pretty common. You're gonna read the Illuminati or the Odyssey read Bagels translation. Mate, I don't even remember what translation I read. Started on Glow Down. Oh my god. Right. You need you should put you should put quotations in that. You should put like, I'm glad <laughs> I'm glad my mom died in quotations. Because I was just kinda I was like I was like, what? You're glad that your mother died? What? But yeah, I've 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 heard things about that. I have heard things about that. Robert Fagler is really good. 
bagels, can't type. In a box for the first edition of Spanish translation of the Odyssey one's very old book. Oh wow. Y'all are smarter than I am. Look at you guys reading and shit. I can't even I can't even read that thing that I was telling Kitty about earlier, like a toxic parent shit. I can't even read that. I can't even read that. What's wrong with me? Alright, okay. I just think I don't know how to do this. Surely there is a way. Surely there's a way. No, it's got to be split in the back. There's no other way. But surely. Surely there is a way. I don't know if she has that dress anymore either. It's like one of my favorite dresses. Did I post a photo of it on the blog? Jess would know. Jess, do I have a photo of like a sailor dress on the blog? I don't think I do, but I might. Kindle makes reading fun. I have a Kindle, it's the worst. I don't even read then. We don't know a word. You can know how I get the definition. It's pretty good. You've been using Audible? Nice. Sorry, Jess, I was talking about like whether I have a... Ooh, I could put a seam in the front of the... No, I can't put a seam in the front. Although, if I put a seam in the front, then I've kind of got like a bow... Oh, oh. If I put a seam in the front, then I can have the bow thing covering the front seam. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just, I'm, I'm thinking about this. I'm thinking about this, okay. No, I've got to have a seam somewhere. They've got to be in the shoulders of the back, seriously. You don't have an actual sailor photo on the blog, no? I don't. You have other sailor dresses besides the stretchy ones? Yes, but not ones that I've made. Hang on, I'm gonna call my mother. <laughs> I'm gonna call my mother.
where it's like square on the front and I'm pretty sure that that's the back. No, that's the front. Bitch, why don't you have a photo on the back? Sorry. <laughs> Just a bit, I'm wigging out right now. I'm like, why don't you have a photo of the back? No, it's, look, every single thing I can find, the collar is split at the back. Every single thing I can find, the collar is split at the back. I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, I'm, I'm spitting out. No, you said belt are like huskies with short legs. They basically are, yes. Yes, they are. Y'all see this little dress has it? This dress has it. This dress is fine. Why can't I make one like that? I can't. Does this have shoulder seams? Oh shit, I think it has shoulder seams, sorry. Anyway, cause I'm like looking at this like kid's dress, right? And I'm like, she's got a square in the back and a square on the front. So I'm just kinda like, oh, I think, I think it actually has seams on the shoulder though. I think it has seams on the shoulder. Cause yeah, I am just working out how on earth they managed to make something like this. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, but any of you guys who don't know, this is like a this is like a regular thing for me. Like stressing this much over a sewing pattern. This is just this is just how it is. It's just how it is. It's a very weird collar. Okay, sorry, anyway. Anyway. Maybe it's not possible. I don't recall anything with a large square collar, no. Yeah, I, I don't I don't recall that either, so I'm like, mm, mm. But yeah, that's the this is this is the only way I'd be able to do that. And even then the pitch of the neck is completely wrong as well. Okay, draw that across there then because it can't it can't be, it has to be like that. It has to be like that because the square has to be horizontal across the back and then go across the shoulder. If it goes across the shoulder, then there's this dart that needs to be taken out. Unless I close and overlap here, and then I've got a smaller dart to contend with, but no nonetheless, it still is a dart. It is a dart, nonetheless. No, there's no way. There's like logistically, there is no way. The way how people do something in pattern dance half the time is that they half ass it and they hide it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, I remember when we first got Hugo. Oh, what a time. What a world, what a world, what a world, what a time. So the only solution then is that I have to hide a seam somewhere. I have to hide a seam somewhere. So if I'm going to... If I'm going to put a bow here, maybe, the, maybe it is pertinent to put a seam through the front. Because it's going to be hidden by this like lapel shit, like this little this thing, this little bow thing that I'm gonna put on it. It's gonna be hidden by that. I could also put it in the back and have like a similar effect going on in the back. The back will also be less visible if I do it there, right? Yeah. Maybe I should put it in the back. Like if I put a seam through the back, like surely that'll work. Surely that will work. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to do this design so that I can do the collar both ways. I'm thinking that the only way that I can do this is if I put a seam in the back. If I put it in the front, I can hide it, but that means that I can't really like it can't be versatile anymore, which I want it to be kind of versatile. Don't even know what you're trying to do with the mode. Okay, okay. Pretty good thing you're pretty good at hiding seams sometimes. Okay, okay, so. Okay, um, the explanation of what I'm doing right now, because I'm just kind of talking to myself at the moment. Um, the explanation of what I'm doing right now, okay, is I have, I'm trying to make a sailor collar on a dress, right? But a sailor collar is usually square on the back. I'm trying to do it square on the front as well, as well as the back, right? Square front, square back. And I want to put a little, like a tab that hangs loose down here and it's attached to the top of the collar so when you unclip the tab it turns into a proper sailor collar and when you clip the tab up it pulls 
the bottom of the sailor collar to make it into like kind of a bow shape right that's what i'm kind of trying to figure out at the moment um so that means that it can be versatile right so you can uh, you can have it unclipped or you can have it clipped up that's that's the idea right so I'm just, yeah, I'm now trying to kind of work out the logistics of being able to have a collar with no seams in it. Because normally a collar has a seam somewhere, right? So either it ends at the neck and that's the seam at the front of the neck or, you know, it just, it has a seam somewhere usually. Uh, collars aren't always, they aren't usually all the way around with no seam. You can't really do that. It doesn't work like geometrically, right? Um, sounds like you need a kitty. I know, I don't know where she is. I have no idea where she is. So I think the best I'm gonna be do be able to do at the moment is create a collar that create a collar that has a seam going right down the back. So I've got I've got options, right? I can either have a seam going down the front that's underneath that tab, but then you can only ever wear it with the tab like making it into a bow, right? That's that's one of the options, okay? Another option is I can have it at the back. The back is less visible, but it's not, I don't find it as appealing to have a seam in the fucking back of the neck. I don't like that as much. Um, another option is also the shoulders. So when I, when I make this, I can make it flat in the back and then flat in the front. And then I could have like a dart taking it from the shoulder. That's also another option that I'm strongly considering right now. <laughs> yeah, that's Kira, that's, that's exactly right. Kitty is self-caring right now. Oh, poor thing. I could have shoulder seams. I could. On the Sailor Shirt pen, I have a folk where there's a tab on the front to tuck your neckerchief into, but it's not like a tab, is not a giant rectangle front back collar. What do you mean? I have no idea what that is. There's a tab on the front to tuck your neck. Oh, oh, right, no, that's just a, Oh, oh, my mum responded. My mum responded, hang on. House inspections suck, they're so stressful. Hang on, hang on. Um, do... In my cupboard over there, do I have a navy blue sailor dress? Do I, oh, more like do I still have, cause my mother, she chucks out my stuff, so. My mother chucks out my stuff. I would do shoulder seams, I think they'd be pretty visible and the back and front would look nice and smooth. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking so. I'm, I'm thinking that's probably going to be my best bet. All right, okay, okay, all right, okay. Now another question, now another question. Am I going, am I going to do darts? Am I gonna do princess seams? Am I gonna do like an underbust thing? Just trying to, I'm like, mm, trying to work out what I'm gonna do here. Alternatively, I could leave it smooth. I could have darts coming from the shoulders. Um, I could just have darts coming from the shoulders. It would be hidden then by the collar, and then it would look like a dartless bodice, but still, anyway. Um, can you check, please? She says maybe. Self care kitty. Oh, I wrote underbust thing. Underbust thing. Just trying to think about how the rest of it's gonna go. So this is kind of me. Yeah, this is kind of my idea here. Not that you can really see this because I've drawn this very lightly in pencil. I always do just in case I need to erase something. So I want to do like bishop sleeves, sailor collar. So I'm worried that the bishop sleeves will compete with anything bust going on down here. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Oh. No, no, the collar is going to compete with that. The collar will compete with that, which means that maybe I will do... I feel like princess seams would probably be fine. No, not, no, not that one. I do love that dress a lot. <laughs> ah, thanks, Jess. Thanks. Alright, okay. Okay. I 
could do an arm hole princess seam as well. I don't often do arm hole princess seams. I quite like them, but I don't do them a lot. All right, as far as sleeve holes go. Okay, so I'm gonna trace this out and I'm going to, I'm gonna trace this out. I'm gonna work out how much arm hole I need for my thing. Is that the embroidery? It is, it is, it is. I don't know which one M got me though. M didn't, like, I can't remember whether M got me that embroidery book or got me a cross stitch book. I cannot remember. I cannot. Do you remember? Was it that one? We're not sure who got it. I know, it's freaking me out. Oh, yes, she found it. Yes, 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 that one. Okay, 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 she found it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, she found it. Okay. Um, how do I ask this question of my mother? Uh, how, does, how do I ask this question? Um, can you put it on... Wait, hang on, no. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call her, I have to call her on this. Hi, Hi Mom! Hi, Mom. Hey. Turn down the volume. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> I'm currently streaming. So I just... Nobody can see you. I just wanted to know... Um, can you show me video of the collar? I want to see more video of the collar because I'm trying to replicate it. And I don't know if there's like seams on the collar or anything. Everyone says hi. No, nobody can see you. They just said hi. <laughs> Tap the screen. Tap the screen once and then turn it. There you go. Okay. Interesting. Okay, further back. Okay, further back. Okay. Yeah, Vidim, but you have the camera too close. <laughs> That's okay. Can you turn the dress around? Yep. Are there any seams on the collar? There's no seams on that collar, is there? Da, kako da se spoji jedan fabric do druge? Da je to jedan komad fabric? Nema na shoulders? Znam da je duplo napravljeno, ali da li ima na kao na ramena kako se zove seam da ima dve komade? Na ono straga? Da. Mama, da, da, da li ima sim? Ima tu sim. Ima, oh, ok, perfect. To sam bjela znati. Da, 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 htjela sam znati da li ima sim, bo kaj nisam znala kako se to spojilo. Ok, ima na ramenima. No, but I don't see the camera. It's open around the neck. Okay. And then you turn. My mother is literally showing me a picture of the wall. She's like explaining this to me and she's showing me a picture of the wall. But you have to listen. I'm listening, but I need to see what you're pointing at and stuff. Here, you turn, you know? Yeah, yeah, I know. Where's the zipper? Is the zipper on the side? Uh, yes. Yeah, the zipper's on the side. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. And uh, it's cut, cut in the middle. Okay, it's got a seam down the back. And it's got seams on the sides. Okay, okay. And it has a little bit of guttering on the shoulders. 
Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Cool, mom. So there's so there's a seam on the shoulder there. Okay. Yeah, that's on the that's on the collar, right? Not on the dress. It's on the collar. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Sorry. Thanks. Thanks for your help, mom. Okay. See you. All right. Love you. Bye. Bye. Okay. 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 All right. Sorry. 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 Much. Much apologies. Okay. So. Definitely, definitely, um, she, <laughs> I'm glad she didn't throw it out. She was mostly pointing the camera towards the blank wall, you know, cause she just kind of like generally like kind of pretends to point it where, anyway. Anyways, so there is, there is a seam on the shoulder. The only kind of thing that I'm very curious about is if there's a seam on the shoulder, how on earth did they put a braid on it? Cause the braid looks like it's been, like it's flat, like it's straight. There's no like, there's no break in the braid. Right? So, okay. Alright. So, let's do, let's do an armhole, dart, an armhole, uh, sorry, princess scene. Let's do that. How did you learn Croatian as your first language? Yeah, it's, um, it's my mother taught me immediately, like, from the womb, basically, is when my mother taught me Croatian. Um, my god, I feel like my, my accent went a little more Australian then. Um, <laughs> She taught me pretty much from the womb, and that's um yeah that that was the first language. Um, I learned I learned English in primary school. Um, oh sorry, preschool I guess preschool. I learned it then. What is this? What is from? Sorry, I'm just trying to pick out my um my sleeve pieces here. Where is the rest of my sleeve? I think this is it. I think this is it. Aha, here we go. Here we are. That is my. What's my bishop sleeve right here? Da, 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 da. Here is my sleeve band. Da, 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 da. My sleeve is my back. Here's my front. Here's my other front. Where's the other front? Where is the other front? I too am uncoordinated and do not know how to do video calls. It was just really funny because I'm just trying to get her to like point the camera in the correct. But yeah, it's 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 on the shoulder. So the seam is on the shoulder. Cause yeah, I was thinking to myself, like, I know that that collar doesn't have a, like a join up the back and I know it doesn't have a join up the front, but I just couldn't remember whether it was, it was on the shoulder. So yeah. Hey Demi is still learning English to Thanks. Thanks Jess. Thanks. So interesting how people pick up accents up from their parents, whichever the country they're living in. I'm assimilating. Okay. I'm assimilating cunt. All right. Assimilating. I'm trying to, trying to learn my, uh, my uh, my country's language, so I don't get discrimination, yo. All right. I think this is what with one centimeter seam allowance. I think. I think. Wait, did I remove the seam allowances from this? Oh shit! I don't actually know whether I removed the seam allowances from this. I didn't specify because I'm stupid. I didn't specify because why would I specify? Did I remove the seam allowances? No, I did one centimeter seam allowances. Is what I'm pretty sure I've got here. Pretty sure I've got one centimeter. Do not use 1.5 centimeter seam allowance. Okay, okay, got it, got it. And everywhere else, I'm pretty sure is one centimeter seam allowance. I think. Oh my god. Adds five centimeters to length. Got it, got it, got it. None of this has information on how much seam allowance I've got. Really. Really? Really? Okay. <laughs> once again, once again, I have absolutely useless note-taking skills. Why didn't I just write? Because every time I do this, I'm just kind of like, yeah, I will remember this. I will remember this. What I actually need to do is uh, remember to write down all the notes as though I will be giving this to a person who doesn't know how to do anything. So, friend that picks up accent super quick, she goes on holiday, comes like, talk about an accent, that's so cute. Now it's just chat who discriminates against Demi. Thank you. Been trying to learn Dutch, it's bloody hard. Is Dutch similar to German? I'm pretty sure it's similar to German. Crap, I need to go to the bathroom. Give me a sec. Water!
Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. The only thing I know in Dutch is passport because I laugh my ass when I saw a Dutch shit. Passport? They know how to say in Dutch is spank me daddy because it's funny. Why would you know how to say that? And it discriminates against Asian. My favorite Australian after Hugo. Hugo is Swedish, motherfucker. Um, give me <laughs> in clap, papa. Give me the spank, father. Oh my god. That, that literally translates to give me the spank, father. Anyway, okay, so I'm pretty sure this has one centimeter seam allowance built in. Yeah. One centimeter seam allowance uh, included. Look, Kitty would be proud of me. <laughs> Kitty would be proud of me. Um, all right, so one centimeter, which means that I connect it like this. This will give me a good indication of the front armhole. Then I'll get the back armhole. Then, because I'm gonna try, I think, to replicate like the uh, not this, not this rule. I'm using this rule for. Because I'm gonna try and replicate. So salty about that one. Anyway. Came to this country illegally. Don't discriminate against Hugo for his Swedish heritage. How am I discriminating? Dutch is a silly language. Hugo is still not a community. Hugo is such a cutie. He's such a cutie. I love him so much. I love him so much. I wish I could stop him from friggin' jumping up onto the couch all the time. It's driving me bonkers. Alright. Okay, here we go. That is that. That's that. And so my armhole shape is like smaller than this because this has one centimeter seam allowance built in. Why did I? Why didn't I just remove the seam allowance? <laughs> What's the matter with me? Why didn't I just remove it? This is so stupid. Anyway, so I've got like 2.5, 2.5 over here, 7.5. Over here, um, I did not measure out the armhole there, because why would I? Why would I do that? He is too bogan for the Lord Stalker. Bogans are the most targeted by law, okay? They're the most discriminated against by the Popo. There we go. Alright, that's my seam allowance there. Gotta get Hugo some couch stairs. Oh god, no. He's it's not it's not a stairs thing, like I don't wanna I don't wanna get him stairs because he shouldn't be going up and down the couch anyways. He's too old for even stairs. I mean we need to get a ramp for his stairs for goodness sake. Like, cause he can't even go up the stairs to the front of the house. Like that's how old he is, you know. That's how old he is. When he snores at night, he he like snores a cloud of dust. Like it's just he is really really old. <laughs> he very old, okay. All right, there's my armhole. Seven point five total. Why is it seven point five total? From where? From there to there? From there to there? No, it's not. Seven point five is from like there to there-ish. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Why is why would I say seven point five total? What was I calculating here? Anyway, anyway, he was like three years younger than Barney, my grandpa's dog. You are so old, aren't you, Bear? You are so old. Mummy loves you. She does. She does. <laughs> Couch ramp. I don't think couch ramps exist, and even if they do, we don't have room for them. He just needs to not go on the couch. For goodness sake, he just needs to not go on the couch, really. Oh, oh, I understand now. I understand. So this is the shoulder. Oh, hang on. That's the shoulder pitch. Sorry, I forgot that this thing has really fucking weird um, seams. Okay, so that is the actual shoulder pitch. That's where it starts, the top of the shoulder. Hang on a second, is that? Yes, that's correct. Hang on. Uh, oh god, you smell, Hugo. Why do you smell so much? Why do you smell? Alright, alright, hang on. This is pointing in the incorrect location. Not that I can fucking tell, because um, I've got such bad eyesight. There's, there's a little one. 
There's a little one over there. Um, let me get let me get some snackies. Let me get some snackies for him. Let's get some snackies. Alright. Evie, do you want a treat? No, don't you get out. Stay there. <laughs> you don't have to collapse either, but yeah, stay there. Because of his big nose. Evie! There you go, Hugo. I always give Hugo the bigger piece because he's the bigger dog, so. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I need to like. Just kind of kick this up. Seriously, I need to invest in some sort of like pulley device. Yeah, it's a knee cam now. It's a knee cam. Hi, sweet. Hi, sweet babies. Oh, you're kind of warm. Should I take this off? Should I take this off? You're kind of warm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, crap. Give me a tick. Yeah. This is an undressing stream. <laughs> Alright, there you go. There you go. Now you are naked. Naked and free to run. Free to run naked. Tactical camera angling. We're trying. We're trying. <laughs> As an attempt. Is an attempt being made? All right, this, it's its funny because this actually almost perfectly lines up with my, um, with my sloper. It, it has a slight scoop, but other than that, it pretty much perfectly lines up. It's got exactly like the, the exact amount of, uh, what's it called again? The exact length? Fuck, <laughs> forgot all my words are. Me speak England good. This has, yeah, and this is almost exactly correct on the back as well. That's actually pretty fantastic. Like, that's that's amazing. You guys can't see that, but it's just the the way that this lines up is just incredible. Watch it, watch a bitch undress, stream of strips dog, dog life on screen. In one of those gimbal cameras for the dog cam. I just need like a like a thingy. Anyway, everyone have a drink! So, I'll show you guys. Oh, I've got heaps of tape on the table here, actually. I'll show you guys what this looks like. I'm actually super impressed with it, so we're just gonna take like a little moment to admire it. <laughs> it's gonna take like a little moment to admire how cool this is, this, this linkage right here. Um, hang on. What's this? Okay. So I've taped, I've taped it together. This is the armhole, right? God damn. You can barely see from the fucking dog cam, all the cams, all the cams here. All right, there's the armhole on the McCall sewing pattern, right? Using the tape that's not particularly sticky. <laughs> this tape not doing great, but it's, it's okay. Anyway, anyway, so this is my sloper, the purple pieces. This is from armpit to shoulder. As you can see, it's pretty much bang on. It's like, it's very close in terms of like curve and like length is, length is exactly correct. Length is perfect. And this one, when you compare it, it's also pretty much bang on. This is like very, very close to spot on. It's got a little bit less of a scoop across the back and it's got a little bit more scoop out of the um, the armhole, but yeah, this is this is pretty much this is pretty much mirroring my armhole curve. It's incredible. Do you lay down your fur covered log? Lie down. Go to sleep. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Hugo. Good boy. Yeah, absolutely incredible the way that they managed to do this. So it has less of a scoop here, more of a scoop down here, and the rule actually applies like the same here. So that's actually oh, that's super fascinating. So for a sleeve, you need to add here, and then you need to scoop out here for a sleeve, basically. So 0.5 centimeter sleeve. 
like this, and then 0.5 centimeter sleeve here. Just kind of like vaguely drawing on this. <laughs> and then 0.5 centimeter sleeve. And 0.5 centimeter sleeve. Okay. So fascinating. Yeah. I'm just like, ooh, I'm, I'm, my mind is blown. Anyway, okay. All right. I think it's time to carve and cheek and sleep. No worries. Have a good one. Thanks for popping in for as much as you could. I really appreciate that. Sorry, I've been starting pretty late recently. I've been having like little miniature crises before um, stream. And I don't even know if I'll be going to Melbourne. Um, so I'm like, I'm a little bit sad about that. We'll see. We'll see how it ends up. That are down there like Hamilton is down there and stuff not that Alex wants to see all the musicals with me anyways but I could go by myself like I like come from away is down there currently I could see that by myself Alex really <laughs> doesn't want to see that stop it I will murder you what was Melbourne for PAX yeah so Alex wanted to go to PAX but he was also talking over some sort of deal with his you know game promotion whatever and then was just yeah, now it doesn't look like it's going through, so yeah. Yay! <laughs> Yay! 
All right, I want to do about two centimeters away from this. Two centimeters away from this. Maybe an inch, maybe an inch, an inch might be all right. An inch over here, so the dart legs now extend into here. Are you going to PAX? Are you going to PAX, Sarah? I do, but I'll be moving like an hour from the city. Oh no, that sucks. Come back into town and watch a musical with me. <laughs> You're going to, we could have met up. Oh my God, that would be amazing. Why are you going to PAX? Why are you going to PAX? I thought it was like less of a, like I thought it was more of like a games, like business kind of thing. Don't know anything about PAX. What? GCAPs. Is there a PAX at the same time as GCAP? PAX is the weekend after GCAP. Oh, so I wouldn't be going there any anyways. No. no. So, unless you want to stick around for GCAP. What do you mean? I wouldn't be going anyways because you're not doing the thing. Well, who said that? You said that. I said it's unlikely that after that meeting, <gasps> it's likely, but we've got to wait for the leaders and then we'll approve them. Wait, so how long will that take? Depends on how long it takes Ken to get back. How long is Ken going to get back? I don't know. Maybe a couple of days. <gasps> That's kind of exciting! Does that mean it might be going? Maybe. Maybe. So, like, the thing is, the legal is... Um, I'm not so getting my hopes up. I just... I can't... You can't break my heart again. The legals don't go through in that way. Okay. Because, like, we have to read through the legals and be like, okay, like, is this going to screw us over in the long run, or is this fine? Okay. So, because, yeah, it's... So if it doesn't go through, blame Alex. That's it. You're going as Alex from Rathers. Oh, they have a cosplay championship. Oh, so we're, we're going to not PAX. Well, Alex is... Wait, you're going to the thingy regardless, aren't you? GCAP or not? Yeah. You are? Yeah, so Alex is going to GCAP, which is the thing before PAX. So, so like, likely we wouldn't meet up unless you were going down there for like a holiday, like a week before or something like that. I'd probably do a day at PAX, um, but any more than that. Oh, you're gonna go to PAX too. I would do it just for a day, just because. You can meet Sarah. <laughs> um, because uh, sometimes publishers are on the floor walking around. Oh. Um, and so, Are you gonna cosplay? <gasps> I'll make you a dinosaur costume for your game. This is very exciting. So. You're so. welcome. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, anyway, so, um, yeah, it'll probably be either Friday or Saturday. I'll probably do Friday because it's less busy then. And that's when the publishers like to come out because then they don't want to get Pax Pox. Pax Pox? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, you're gonna come home and give me the plague, aren't you? That's it. Oh. That's, that's the problem with Pax, is that, like, it usually, like, we always call you Pax Pox because you'd always get sick afterwards. <laughs> that is the most suspicious username I've ever seen. Speak now or you are a bot. I'm very, I'm very suspicious about that username. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so you you might see Alex, you probably won't see me, because if I'm going, if Alex's deal goes through, then I would be going the week before, and I don't think I'd be hanging around for two weeks. Um, I think I'd probably go home before then, very likely. Yeah, you don't want to be stuck with me going out every night. 